Alrighty, what's going on guys? It's Slipshot Flair here. Today we're going to be doing a playthrough of some Halo Infinite. So we're going to be putting that difficulty on Legendary. I did get a couple skulls before, so we're not going to be putting on Bloom or Cowbell, but we are going to be putting on uh, IWHBDYH IWHBYD um, just for that extra chance at some rare dialogue because, you, you know, makes the game a little bit more interesting um, I might have to adjust some of the sound features here a little bit it all depends you know on what you guys are getting out of it I don't know exactly uh, how well this game is gonna take to you know difference in sound quality but if for some reason this takes a little while to load which sometimes it does I will put a quick jump cut in here for you but just getting into the background of this game, this game is, uh, you know, Halo, it's pretty big right now. Um, multiplayer came out about a month or a couple weeks ago. Um, I think it was around Thanksgiving or so that the multiplayer released to be playable for um, everyone on Xbox Game Pass. Free to play multiplayer, all that campaign is, you know... $60, but apparently they're planning on taking this campaign and adding on to it with a lot of DLCs. I think from what I've heard, they're going to be free DLCs. It's only, that's the real only way that I can see justifying spending $60 on just a campaign when that $60 really doesn't get you any unlocks in multiplayer because multiplayer is already free to play. Other than all the politics aside, you know, it's a pretty fun campaign from what I've played of it there's a couple cheeses um, probably gonna get one of those cheese weapons and just to do a fun run through of this while I'm recording you know won't use it too often but it's always a good thing to grab because you can only grab it in that third mission there Just so y'all know, I will be going pretty quiet during uh, most of these cutscenes. definitely will say I like the uh, detail they put into when he gets hit with the Warhog. Getting Halo Reach flashbacks from this with uh, George tossing you out of the uh, Covenant Corvette before he manually blows up the nukes.
of something there. It's good to see a lot of these things for the second time too. How do you just magically get a beard and long hair? Should we do like a time skip there? It's very possible. So I'm probably going to be playing through the first mission um, in this episode depending on how how long it takes. I'm not looking to probably do like hour long videos but you know they take a little while to upload to YouTube. Hmm. It's also great seeing all this for, like I said, the second time because we're getting, uh, at least I'm getting a lot of, uh, new details. We don't find out his name until a lot later in the campaign, which is kind of weird, but it's not too bad. Fires are powering up. Boot complete. Yes! 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 We're going home! <laughs> oh. Welcome back, Chief. Have you had the deputy power up with your chief? The machine fell from the calibration matrix. Okay. So is he a marine? Because he has that helmet over there. Freaking tutorials. It does feel great, I will say, playing this on mouse and keyboard. Some of the buttons are a little wonky. Uh, you know, like using grapple is G and or any one of your things, but it does get a little funky when you are trying to cycle some things. Mm. Got that chip. So weapon containment device inserted. Verification ID. Okay. AI not detected. That's because at the end of five with Cortana and everything. I like how he just pushes that thing and it said offline that entire time, but lost everything. There's nothing left for us here. I'm team for the POEs. So if I remember correctly, this is installation uh zero four. So he has a gun. Hmm. 
If I remember correctly, there is a skull in this mission, as well as some audio dialogue, which I will be getting if, you know, anyone wants to follow along with that. You'll be able to, more than likely, be able to see it. Oh, I already got it, so. When you play through, uh, I guess, it keeps all your progress of certain collectibles. So what's weird in this is you can see how Chief delicately moves the, uh, you know, the Marines aside. And another weird thing is you see how he said you only have one bullet and that, that's the gun that you got given by him. That, that means that he was saving that one bullet for killing himself. That's my thought at least. Which is a little weird. So we're over here trying to make it to the uh, banished ship. So we are on a legendary currently. So scan is Z. not too bad let's be honest with you the manglers these things are great so I love how they do the cutscenes in this game also they made it so that you can see which weapon you had going into the cutscene. So Legendary definitely makes things more difficult. So for some reason, that reminds me of one of the audio logs, but I don't think it is. I don't believe that one, uh, buddy. But you are the banished. <laughs> you ain't wrong with that. So, what is cool about this campaign is you can always refill uh, weapons at these stations. Oh, they shot it. So I do have to watch out. being on legendary and all so 
So Escharum was uh, Atriox's uh, teacher, and uh, Atriox is the main bad guy from uh, Halo Wars 2. So, you know, apparently him and Escharum were gonna meet back up, and they met at the ring or something like that. I like how we can see. Oh, it's a. F hmm. I believe there's probably. I mean, from what I remember, you know, people made it out on dropships because that's what the f first audio log says. So this is a. I didn't want that. This guy's actually the first audio log that you can get right here. There's another one uh, later in the mission, but um, that is the first one. Yeah, and these, these things are pretty cool that you can activate and deactivate them. You can also fully destroy them by shooting the base. So, if people are hiding behind them, it's, you know, it's a great thing to do to get back at them. Right. So, actually, I have to go this way. I love what they did for the grunts with the uh their voice lines and such. It's awesome. I, I love that they did all that. I definitely think they put a lot of work into it. And I give them a lot of props. There we go. Th them plasma pistols really do a lot on your fucking shields. Alright, we're gonna... Oh, great. For anyone wondering, the uh, that skull I was talking about, that's gonna be in this room. So I think it's this one. That skull should be right up here, if I remember correctly. So, it's going to be the second one that goes up, this double one. It's not this one, but you're just going to have to get up on that, ride this guy up, and that skull will be right on top of there. And then I think that one's cowbell, but I could be mistaken.
So now we get the BR. Great weapon, great weapon, the BR. Only thing is when you get it, there's not a lot of ammo. So if we come back here, we can refill this guy. We can have all the ammo we're going to need. Oh, there's one right there. Okay. So I didn't know this the first time I played, but there's different banished tribes, or brute tribes. So, this is only like one or two of them. So what I don't get is, for some reason, I believe that we were flowing in space there for six months before everything started. Okay, so it took my... The BR is great against brutes, except when it comes to chieftains. You just gotta pump a lot of ammo into them. these guys didn't need that grenade but okay guess there's no more enemies so let's disable this guy Like I said, legendary difficulty, you can take a few hits before you die. Then plasma pistols, they just fucking eliminate your fucking shields. Snipers. <laughs> Snipers can either one shot or two shot you, depending on how low your shields are. They just decimate right through you. All these plasma weapons just tear through your shields.
Alright, now we just gotta get back up top. Let me tell you, the grapple feature, one of my favorites. So this this mission took me by surprise the first time I played it. Yeah, you end up taking a lot of damage. Don't want to touch that, uh, touch that stuff. So you can upgrade most of your uh, abilities in this game, like your grapple, your shields. Um, it's how do I put it? It's one of those things where I would probably keep upgrading, uh, like I was used to. Um, Like, I upgraded my shields a little bit, but my first upgrades had to be the, uh, um, the grapple. Suicide grunts are one of the scariest things in this campaign. Just them alone, it's crazy. They'll charge you like four or five of them at a time, and since you're on legendary difficulty, it's crazy. Oh. Master Chief just loves getting hit off of things with, you know, random floating objects. It's great. Uh, 
it's got to give us that iconic shot of the ring. Location detected. Okay, we're going to transmission. Retrieve weapon. So that's the first mission for y'all. Um, I'm con I'm gonna continue recording some content for you guys. Second episode, I'm hoping should be up. Um, just a little while after the first one, probably not too long. It's gonna take a bit to initialize, so it might be out tomorrow. Um, if you are enjoying this, please do like and subscribe. It does help me out a lot. I'm trying to grow now. Um, I have been uh doing some stuff on Twitch at Slipshot underscore Flare. Um, I like streaming as well. You know, my ideology is I like to play games. I might as well uh, play those games while um, recording them because kill two birds with one stone. You know, if, if I don't grow, that's fine by me, but might as well try. So if you guys do enjoy the content, it does help me out a lot. So once this cutscene's over, guys, I'm going to end that video for y'all. I like that robotic arm right there with that energy sword built in. guys we're gonna cut the uh, recording here I hope you guys did enjoy yet again you know give me that like and subscribe does help me out a lot I'll catch y'all in the next episode